Hi, Bill Naylor here. This is a quick video to show you how to set the IP address and enable web access on APC power distribution units or PDUs. In this case I'm using the APC 9000 series and I was tasked with putting these into a lab so I wasn't really expecting to run into this much trouble. Uh, I, sh I saw these have a nice little uh, menu driven interface with a display screen and buttons and I thought oh, I'll just be able to set the IP address from there. Eh, don't be fooled you can't do that uh, but these things come up um, they don't have a default IP address rather they come up uh, looking for DHCP and uh, there's no way to set that or to change that here on the display. So the ones I have have some ports on them and uh, you can see there's an ability to interconnect them like that is shown here and you can use them as a mesh and talk to them as one whole system. I didn't really have any need for that. Um, I just really want to be able to remotely enable or disable power. Uh, so that's the whole point of doing this. So the ones that I started with have a micro USB port labeled console. So ultimately I figured out that I have to talk to it that way. Uh, the next set that I had to mess with uh, did not have the same port, but rather, oddly, have a serial port, or it's labeled serial, and it comes with an RJ11 to DB9 connector. Uh, so that was another challenge to deal with. But uh, the, the effect is the same. You need a serial connection to these guys. And once you figure that out, um, I'm using PuTTY here to, uh, to make that connection. And, uh, you know, like anything like this, anytime uh, you're dealing with a serial connection, when you get a prompt back, you know you're, you're in there. So uh, it's going to ask you first for a username and password. Uh, those are both APC by default. And uh, then it prompts you to enter APC again and enter a new password. Uh, why the third request to enter it, I'm not sure, but that's, that's how they have this set up. Once you see this menu, you know you're in, and a question mark will show you all the commands, and a command and a question mark will give you all the, the uh, variables for that command. So in this case, I'm going to set an IP address using TCP IP I, and then the IP address that I want to use for an IPv4 address. I've pixelated the address here just following good security. Um, and it tells you a reboot is required for the change to take effect. But uh, you can set the whole you can set the whole stack the uh, IP address, uh, the gateway, and the subnet uh, by using a dash G for your gateway and a dash S for your subnet values. And uh, every time it tells you a reboot is required, uh, but you can set all these. And we have one more thing to set after this uh, before we do the reboot. Uh, so in this case, I'm using a 24-bit subnet mask. So um, now I'm going to go in and do the web configuration because I want to be able to talk to this through a web interface. Uh, so the right command to enable this is web-h enable HTTP. Then it will ask you uh, to reboot again. This time I'm going to say reboot and then it will prompt you to spell yes. And when you see this message you know you've, you've finished that. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.